Hello my brothers and sisters of the internet, my name is XX, Twisted Dips XX, and welcome back to Subnautica. Now the last video I did for this game, I showed you guys, um, a base and stuff. <laughs> and I was looking for the mesmer egg again, my hand is bleeding because there's a giant gash in the side of it because a thumbtack shot at my hand the other day when I was putting stuff in the wall and moving shit around. God damn it, but uh, anyways, yeah, enough of that. Just make sure it doesn't bleed all over my fucking keyboard. Um, welcome back to Subnautica. It's quite the quite the hardcore way hardcore way to start off the video, eh? Wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyways, well, if you're wondering, I made a new base. Yes, I did. I made a new base. Yes, it cuts in under the ground. It's it's crazy base, bro. It's crazy base. Um, it's that big that I actually glitched the game out and my doors will not open, so every time I want to go for a door, I gotta deconstruct it and reconstruct it. It's actually fucked up. I have no idea what I did to the game, but it's basically it runs on the ground right here. And then you go up a couple floors. I hate this glitch. It's really annoying. But pretty much well it runs underground for just that one part. And you just walk up, you walk up, and then boom, you're here. I haven't even finished this much of it yet. There's some rooms and stuff in here. You know, you know the drill, it's the room. No, I'm not even gonna bother to go in there. <sighs> we just walk outside the base and go over this is this room here. It's got plants and stuff in it like you've seen in one of my bases before. It was a frame rate problem, don't mind that. Spade fish egg discovered, it's probably why. Um, over here is the office room with uh, all the stuff in it. Frame rate problem again, don't mind that. Over here is the spade fish tank. I see that there's several eggs laid in that fucking bitch. What the hell? Okay. Um, let's go over here. There's uh, a fish tank over here as well. It's got uh, some uh, normal fishies in it. Thank you, Asus Web Source. There's a frame rate problem. There's a major frame rate problem. Again, the frame rate problem is because of its base and its size. It's glitching the game out. The game becomes very unstable for some reason when I do this. And the fact of the matter is, is that I actually originally had a uh, a scanner room over here where this uh, multi-purpose room is. I actually had a scanner room, but I removed it because it was glitching the game out way too much. So that's the reason why my doors don't open, because the scanner room glitched the game out. My doors used to open perfectly fine. I had all this built bef before I added on the scanner room. I had all this built, all that built, and my, my bulkhead doors opened perfectly fine. But um, then as soon as I added the scanner room, it just fucked up the game completely. So this base is not going to stay. I'm going to remove this base. I'm going to delete the save after this video because um. If his base is glitching out, and I don't want to have a glitchy game for you guys, so I'm going to have to delete it. Um, but the main attraction is by far my oversized obs observatory room. So uh, we just go up in here. Let me get rid of this fucking shit. We don't need this here. We do not need that there. Um, it's probably... But yeah, the oversized observatory room. Now the name of his base itself is the Orion 7. It's um, If you're wondering what I classed it as, I classed it as a deep sea base. It's meant for deep seas and it's got a big observatory in it and everything. It's got an oversized observatory. I mean, you can go all over the place and just think. I mean, look at this. You can just go all over the place. You can look out at the Nautilus. You can go up over at this side. You can look out at the Nautilus again. You can come over here look out at the front of the base where the fishies are. You come up over here and, uh, yeah, just look at it this way. Um, the next base I'm building, I am planning on having this implemented back into it, but it will not be as big. It'll probably be about this size here, you see now. It'll probably only be like that. I won't have any, uh, or maybe a bit smaller, I'm not too sure. But the reason, how I got this is that I had to make the, the arms for these things extra, extra wide, and I cannot have anything underneath them. This down here is just a little area. I suppose I'll show you how to enter enter yeah just deconstruct thank you. you just walk up in through there and it's uh, just a little room so we're in the least the ladder so you get up top there um so in the next base i may try to mimic that i may try and get it but um for now it's 
just this is a prototype let's call it a prototype of a future base we're not going to have an underground part either by the way because that was too much of a pain in the ass to do took forever because I had to dig for the mountain and again it's another reason why the game is probably glitching out because I terraformed but um, anyways uh, yeah enough of this uh, let's go on an adventure guys let's go on an adventure how long have I been recording for? My hand is fucking... It's getting better. Uh, let's see. Five minutes, yeah. We can we can make it. Fifteen minutes is long, so go. Yeah, get in the sea map, boy. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ow. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's get the Nautilus and go. I don't know if we're uh, gonna be able to fit down here now, man. You know, it might be a tight squeeze. Yeah, we can make that. Welcome aboard, Captain. I hate it. I, I don't know. It's, it's. What the hell? Why is the summary all dark? It's not supposed to be that dark. It's supposed to be lit up more. Again, I bugged the game out. That's probably why. It's probably because the game, the game's bugged out. But uh, if you're wondering what happened to my hand, I was trying to stick a thumbtack back in the wall, and the thumbtack was already broken enough as it is. So I was a, I saw I was a dumbass, and I decided to take one of my effects pedals that I use for my guitar amplifier and uh, hammer it in the wall. And well, I broke the piece of plastic off, and the thumbtack came flying out, and it gets the thumbtack sliced open my fucking hand, and I didn't notice it because it's a thumbtack, and it's not really gonna, and you're not really gonna feel it unless it stabs in past, unless it hits the nerve. You know, you're not really gonna feel it. So I didn't feel it because it only cut the skin. What do I mean? I feel it now whenever I wash my hands because it burns like a motherfucker. And uh, where the hell was I going? This way, yeah, this way over here. You see where, where I'm going. You know where I'm going. You definitely know where I'm going, man. Man. I'm going over here, man. I'm going to the Floto Island, man. Yeah. Exactly know where we're going to here in the floater island. Oh wait, no, yeah, I know where I'm going to. Let's see if I can find off uh, the abandoned, uh, the abandoned base on the floater island. There's a base on here that's abandoned, and I want to go check it out. I actually found it before, but I never really checked it out because I didn't want to ruin anything. So I'm gonna search for it now. Stuck <laughs> like over on the coast of it there somewhere. I hate how you. Oh, fuck. God, it scraped off the side of the thing, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't like how I can't turn the light off on the, on the Cyclops. I should be able to do that. But I can't, apparently. If you're wondering, yeah, I'm looking for the base. Um. That's this is where it might be up over here, this side. I think this is yeah, it's up there. You see it up there? That's where it is up there. But um, problem is, is uh, there's no way to get up there. There is no way to get up there. Ah, oh, fuck. So we're gonna have to do uh, we're gonna do something tricky here. I have to find a place to dock this and enter the island. If I can't get there in this video, I'll do it in the next video. Fuck. Oh, that's what that was. It was a fucking floater. It was a giant floater. If I can't do it in this video, I'll definitely do it in the next video. Um, if I don't get a, uh, If you're wondering, guys, if I don't get a Surgeon Simulator video today, it's because I went out and um, I might be going out later on and getting a new computer desk. Um, can't guarantee it, but um, if there's no search and simulator video, then that's why, because I'm building a new computer desk. <laughs> if that's if I go out and get one, then why not? This is good enough here. Okay, fuck, we're just gonna dock off right there. Alright, let's go, boy. Let's go! Let's get the knife out. Sounds laggy up here. This place actually used to be one of the laggiest places to go. Because it was, uh, it was, it was in development. 
but um, it seems to be pretty smooth now. Ever since the Oculus Rift update, which is what the update was called, or if you want to call it what I would like to, what I call it, the Scanner Room update was released. Uh, the game's uh, stability has been improved majorly. Like, it runs a lot better now than it did before that update. Such a better game now. Such a better game. It runs so smoother. Getting about 70 to 80 frames at it. One of the reasons why it also lags because it's got that stupid target frame rate aimed at 144 frames per second. Now, me myself, I should be getting that out of the GTX 960 because this game only uses a 550 Ti, which is a miserable graphics card compared to mine. But again, it's a bug game and it's probably got uh, currently probably got a frame cap on it, so probably turn it off if I tried. How the fuck do I get in it? Oh, this way. Or that way. Okay, well. Alright. Come on now. There we go. Fuck. What's this? No, we don't need that. Got enough of him already. Space is crazy. How long have I been recording for? 11 minutes. Oh, yeah, we can keep going. Uh, five. I'm gonna need this. That lag. Oh, yeah, I forgot these bases tend to lag. They're a bit unstable at some point, so. If it lags, sorry. Fuck. So, uh, what's in this? What's in this? A battery. I don't need, I don't need that because I'm not really playing survival mode at the moment. It's a way to get that rock out of the way, I know that. I'm Pal Torgo, Chief Executive Officer of Tor and Coverage. My crew and I were marooned here five weeks ago when our ship was struck by some kind of weapon. We constructed a habitat using materials reclaimed from the ship. We survived by cultivating indigenous flora. The biochemistry important of community is some it's already paid for itself. He has grown enough food to last us a month. Now I fear our safety. A mercenary I hired for the journey, Morgan Murray, Murray, is increasingly disturbed. She insists we abandon the site and establish a habitat underwater. I fear she may take steps to sabotage her habitat here to enforce her own agenda. Nonetheless, and it against my better judgment we have whatever my hope is she will quickly realize how forgiving the ocean is and abandon this foolish ambition yeah he has a point <laughs> the ocean in this game is ruthless yes if you didn't know this game has, has a story oh apparently can't move the big rock okay Oh, that's fucked up. But I could move the big rock. Oh, right, well, we seem to have gotten everything in here. Some plants and stuff. What? Oh, purple vegetable plant. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's a light. I like the texture on these bases. They're really well made. They look really cool. But it's very unstable right now. Also, it's probably because of my oversized base that I have in my current, in this current save right now, so. Yeah, that base is not going to stay. I'm going to delete the save as soon as I'm done this video. Um, but I will try and remake that same base, except I'll make it a bit smaller. I will try to have the big observatory room. Now, isn't that just convenient? I can see my fucking... I can see the Nautilus just like that. That is pretty cool. Look at that majestic beast just right there in the water. So majestic. smack off something. Let's go down. I can see my base from here. <laughs> it's a good thing. Oh. Yeah, it's my base right there. Just over the, over the hill there, man. It's 
That's a way too much stuff in it. Holy fuck. I'm gonna go for a run in the Smiter V. Oh, what the, oh sh what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? I love it when I hear that noise, it's random. <laughs> it's like something just happened. Let's, what's we got in this hole down here, dude? Oh, it just leads us back into Blood Kelp, doesn't it? I haven't been there in a while, either, man. I haven't really been there in a while. Right, don't really go over it. There's this fucking place down here. This probably leads me to the blood kelp, I'd say. Take that way down there, I'd say that goes to the blood kelp, definitely. This this place connects directly to the blood kelp zone, if you didn't know. I think there might be a lava biome entrance in here too, somewhere. I'm not right sure about it yet, this is uh, the entrance to the blood kelp zone. Yep, here we are, the good old blood kelp zone again, my friend. Right, we're not gonna really ex we're not gonna explore here right now because it's uh it's too much. Maybe in the next video I'll come back there for a visit, see if I can get anything. I wanna try and build my base back out here again. I like this place. There's a big area to build bases. What the fuck? Oh, that was a uh uh, I think I put. I think at one point I actually had something put there, like a base or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a bug. What the fuck? Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Anyways. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Get up. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's just walk back in the engine room. I'm gonna have to end this video now. I think it's gone on for long enough. Yeah, it's gone on for long enough, it's 17 minutes, Jesus, that's way too long. So, uh, anyways guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Twitter for video updates, when are going to come out, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter, share it with your friends at Google+, Plus. if you got friends that use Google+, Plus, some Nautica playlist will be in the description below, like always, and as always, my name is XX, this is XX. I'll see you brothers and sisters in the next video. Peace! Which will be Surgeon Simulator, or... Epsilon Corp. If it's not Surgeon Simulator, then it's Epsilon Corp. Because I'll be seeing you again tomorrow because I gotta work in the morning.